from Seattle. I last time I was in Vegas, I weighed 600 pounds. Is that crazy? You're looking at me like, don't you still weigh 600 pounds? <laughs> 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 I saw that. That's like uh, I lost like 200 pounds. First thing we shot a reality. <laughs> we shot the show, and the uh, first thing they wanted me to do was go to Walmart and get a scale so I could weigh myself when I went home. <laughs> I know, right? If they send you to Walmart, you're fat. You know, that's, that's a prerequisite yeah. for Walmart. You guys ever go there just to boost your self-esteem? Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit better about yourself. Went to the scale aisle. I thought I was gonna get a scale like the dial scales that they had when we were kids. You know, just the regular ones. If you were chubby at all when you were little, those would stick. Right? It was the whole summer, I thought I weighed 28 pounds. <laughs> More ice cream for me. The first scale we pulled down was a talking scale. There's a scale that says your weight out loud in the middle of Walmart. I do not think that a female invented this scale. Right? A female invented it. If you gain weight at all, you can step on it, which is compliment you. Who's a pretty little princess now? <laughs> you deserved that brownie, didn't you? <laughs> it's not. I think a man invented it. I had to try it out. And I jumped on it. It screamed my weight out loud. This guy came running around the corner. He goes, what the heck was that? I said, we're getting a price check on a flat screen. Mind your own business. <laughs> It projects your weight onto the wall in front of you. It actually says on the box, for your easy viewing convenience, it projects onto the wall. All I was thinking was Walmart figured out we can't see our feet anymore. Are <laughs> we having fun? Yeah. My son just turned 18 years old, you know what that means? means I will no longer be known as the defendant's mother. <laughs> he turned 18, he wanted wheels for his birthday, so I got him a U-Haul. <laughs> you guys left your kids at home tonight, didn't you? He's got them holes in his ear, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you should let your kids get gauges. It makes it so much easier to chain them up. <laughs> we come to you from Washington State, we legalized weed way before you guys did here in I just busted him smoking weed. That's an awkward moment between a mom and a kid. They're both just standing there in the alley. <laughs> Mommy smoked weed? And I said, what? <laughs> he said, you got any? I said, no, man, call your Uncle Todd. <laughs> yeah, he said, Uncle Todd smokes weed? And I started laughing and I was like, oh man, you actually think Uncle Todd is your uncle? <laughs> Dyslexic and goth. <laughs> You're feeling my pain, lady. I like that. Last Christmas he got in trouble. He's 18, but it's my house, my rules, right? Yep. Yeah. So I sent him to his room, and he said while he was in there, he was going to sign his soul over to Satan. <laughs> but he's dyslexic. <laughs> so he signed it over to Santa. <laughs> Than me. He's an internet security specialist. So 
what he told me his job was. His official title is Penetration Specialist. <laughs> Ladies, I married a Penetration Specialist. <laughs> I checked with DC Comics, there's no Captain Penetrator. <laughs> how up as it goes. I just had an incident this summer. Uh, I got profiled by a Girl Scout selling cookies <laughs> in front of a Walgreens. <laughs> you think this is fair? She's selling her cookies in front of a place that people go to get their diabetes medications. <laughs> it's not fair. I didn't sell my cookies. I sold my cookies door to door. Ooh, yeah. And my predator patch and my cookie patch on the same day. <laughs> right? She sees me get out of my car and she sees me and she goes, She's mine! <laughs> what do you do? I tried to sneak faster, but I'm not much of a sneak faster, sir. <laughs> she got cookies off the table. <laughs> I get out to the cookies and she looks up at me and she goes, Hi, big lady. Oh. Oh. Right? She goes, Hi, big lady, would you like to buy a case of cookies? <laughs> <laughs> she said case. What do you do? You can't get a Girl Scout. It's in the Bible, people. <laughs> it is. It's like Palms 39 or something. <laughs> So I looked at her and I said, no, Brittany, I don't. I don't want to buy a case of your cookies. I tried your Thin Mints last year and they didn't work. <laughs> you guys have been so much fun. I was crossing the street and this guy stopped me outside. People here are so polite. He stopped me and he goes, ma'am, you're out of breath. You have asthma? And I said, no, dude, do you have glaucoma? <laughs>